Here's what's coming up on the Venus Cuckoldress podcast. And then I start with a little bit more pressure, and then I break out my secret weapon, which is the coconut oil. <laughs> <laughs> It is the signature move. I don't think I said anything about it at the time, but I loved it. She will um, record them audio and she'll send those to me and dwell upon those, trying to dissect it and figure out exactly what they're doing. <laughs> no, it's like, and it's like, huh, I don't think I've heard that noise before. <laughs> <laughs> This is the Venus Cuckoldress Podcast, a place to learn all things cuckolding for the curious, for the passionate, and for the sexually empowered woman who wants it all. Welcome to the show, everyone. I'm your host, Venus. This is the Venus Cuckoldress Podcast, and today's episode is fire. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about it. It's fire. Trust me. This is a friend of mine, actually. Uh, he's the cuck of... Her name is Nookie. She's the founder of DatingKinky.com. He, he goes by the name of Puck, and he's going to talk about this move, this move that I call a cuck 5,000 move. <laughs> it is pussy massage. And I happen to have um, had the pleasure of receiving such cuck 5,000 move. And let me tell you, I loved it. I loved it so much that I think that this needs to be like a mandatory part of a cuckolding relationship. So take notes because we are getting into it. Pussy massage with Puck. But first, a few announcements. The first one is so, 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 so sad, but kind of predictable. I did not win an avian award for best adult podcast. Unfortunately, that award went to the same winner that won last year, someone with a gigantic, huge, massive podcast. So I knew that it was a real long shot that I could win. But I just want to say a big thank you to everybody who took time out of their day each day to vote for the show. Because it was fun to imagine winning. <laughs> Maybe next year I could win. Who knows? This little show about cuckolding wouldn't be fucking amazing if it won an award. That would be pretty, pretty awesome. I might die. Anyway, thank you to everybody who voted. All right. Next, it's the two-week challenge. The two-week chastity challenge with myself and Key Barrett, author of Locked in Love. And if you are listening to this as early access, because that is a benefit for tier members who are in the Friends with Benefits and Helpful Cuck tier um, that support the podcast, you get early access to all the episodes. So you're listening to this early. and uh, But if you're listening to this when it comes out on regular launch day, which is Saturday, February 3rd, then uh, this the challenge, the two-week challenge has already started. And it's not too late, though, if you want to join in. You certainly can. You the link for to be able to join is free is in the show notes for today. It also gives you free access to the Queen's Quarters community where there's all sorts of discussions happening about chastity. And you can join us on the Moan app. There's a bunch of uh, chats that are scheduled, including myself and the lovely Crystal Welch. She we're going to be talking about what it's like to be a key holder. So if you're curious about what it's like from the female perspective when it comes to chastity. Or if your partner is curious to know what the benefits might be for women when it comes to chastity, then please listen in. That's going to be Tuesday, February 6th at 12 p.m. Pacific. That's 3 p.m. Eastern. And I think it might be recorded. So keep an eye out for that one. 
Last but not least, I received such a beautiful review from a fan. This was on Apple Podcasts. This was a rating and review. So this person did five, rated five stars for the show and said, okay, listen to this. This is so beautiful. No matter if you're just getting into the lifestyle with more questions than experience or a seasoned vet, Venus has something for everyone. This is such a great podcast for everyone. And most important of all, all she keeps it real. So that was submitted on January 6th of this year. And so um, whoever you are, thank you so much for that review. That was really nice and very unexpected. So I really appreciate that. All right. Now it's time to jump in to the show with my friend Puck. Joining me on the show today, I have my friend Puck, who I've met a few times now, and I'm so excited to have you share your story and tell us all about what Yoni massage is, or what I like to call pussy massage. Welcome to the show, Puck. Say hello to everyone. Hello, everyone. Okay, let's get into it because I I can't wait to talk about this pussy massage, but First, because I think the audience uh, who's listening does not hasn't heard from you before, so they're not sure who you are. So, do you want to just kind of like jump into how you ended up where you at you're at right now? Because you identify as a cuck, is that right? Correct. So, I met my partner Nookie about eleven years ago, and shortly and we were both in uh, the kink lifestyle. Uh, we were heavily involved with that way before we knew each other. And so fetish and kink was my thing before then. And not long after um, meeting her, like within four months of dating, we started the cuckolding journey. And it's definitely been a journey and been pretty exciting through then. So she's very active in the kink community. And we both are actually, but she's really active in it. Um and that is like one of our big things, but we also enjoy the, the cuckolding aspect. And, you know, with a lot of our friends, the cuckolding aspect is, you know, they have no interest and don't really understand like the rest of the world. They're not yeah. too familiar with <laughs> yeah. the cuckolding dynamic, or even if they think they do, they don't really quite know. And so it's been a journey for uh, a little over 10 years. I think that's. It's been pretty exciting. And then we started uh, attending the uh, Splash Mochas, which you know, took us in a whole new direction and <laughs> focus, which are pretty awesome. Yes. And okay, so it's been a decade. That's awesome. And you guys started going down the cuckolding road, you said only four months after you met. Um, what did, were you into cuckolding before that? Or did she introduce that or how did that work? I did not really know what it meant. You know, seeing the, you know, back 10 plus years ago, you know, see stuff about it, but you know, the, the typical cuckolding, you know, the you know, guy, uh, the woman cheating on a guy kind of thing. So I didn't really know much about it and I forget how it came up and like, you know, it was everything. So she, uh, kind of, <laughs> educated me on that. And I was like, Oh, that's kind of interesting. And, and I've always enjoyed, you know, seeing my partners with other people and, and that when we've played, when I've played in the past. So we started talking about that and I showed her an interest and then she took it upon herself to surprise me. And <laughs> it was pretty hardcore. <laughs> the first time. <laughs> Were you feeling all sorts of cucky angst? Oh yeah. I felt, it was pretty wild. Let's see here. So we were staying at a hotel and we were playing and we were getting kinky and she had uh, blindfolded me and tied me up and I was like laying on the bed. And the next thing I know that someone knocked at the door <laughs> and she opened it and <laughs> she uh, let in some guy and she was 
you know, talking it up. And it was kind of like, in her words, she was, she felt like she was doing a porn, at, you know, like the pe- guy delivering a pizza or something kind of <laughs> like that. And I was just laying there going, what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> so then they came in the room and started to uh, play right next to me. And yeah, it was, she uh, went all in. <laughs> and you were blindfolded. So you yes. could only hear what was going on. Yes. Was she saying things to you? Yeah. She oh, was. That's hot. <laughs> it it was really intense. How did you Major. handle that? Because you didn't know that was going to happen. I had no clue. Was it kind of um, better that you knew it wasn't going to happen? He, probably. It was really pretty unique and hot the way it was. And yeah. And I you didn't have up- time to think it through and be all like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're in, she just like sprung it on you. I'm like, surprise! <laughs> surprise! I think that's surprise. a fantasy of a lot of cucks out there. I've heard it a lot before. Anyway, so wow, yeah. so she, wow, she just really like you don't you guys dove right into it. That's awesome. So, what does your cuckolding act like? I say cuckolding look like now. Um, is it still? Like the usual kind of cuckolding, where she's sleeping with a, uh, another guy and. Do you watch? Do you hear about it? Do you, how does she evolve you? Hey guys, guess what? I have found something pretty amazing. It is a natural way for you to get better erection strength, quality, and firmness, all things I know you want. And it also gives you better performance and stamina in the bedroom. Mm hmm. And as a bonus, it benefits your overall cardiovascular and sexual health. It's called Joy Mode, and I love the name. It's a sexual performance booster, and it's made with science-backed ingredients. It's like a pre-workout supplement, but for the bedroom. So whether you're amping up the heat with the wife in the bedroom or you're going for gold (laughs) in a marathon session at a hotel takeover event... This supplement has to be part of your routine, part of the checklist. You can learn more and order yours at usejoymode.com. And if you enter the code VENUS, you get 20% off. So that's usejoymode.com. Go ahead, get yours. Thank me later. Right. Well, so let me just kind of go back to that first time. She totally broke me. I mean, oh no, what do you mean? Everything happened to me that night. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I uh, I lost. uh, (laughs) Did she peg you too? I'm sorry, did she peg you too? No, he okay. I suck, you know, she made me fluff him and then he fucked me and then I blew him. So pretty much oh, she wow. broke me. <laughs> wow. That's like cuckolding zero to 103.5 exactly. seconds. <laughs> she said she was so worried about going too far. Yeah. And she was like, well, we'll find out. <laughs> Nookie. Oh, Nookie. <laughs> That's so awesome. Yeah. I did so not then- know that story. That's awesome. That's great, though. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> So I went from zero to 60 in no time. Um, yeah. So then we started um, playing with that. She started seeing guys and, and that, and I would watch most of the time. And then we kind of had that dynamic going for a while where it was just her and that, but I'm a pretty dynamic person too. And very, you know, I love it to please. And through our journey, we've realized that I've had skills. Um, just not good at using the dick. <laughs> <laughs> but with everything skills. else, I'm pretty pretty good. Cuck um, skills, so, right? <laughs> and as she likes to, so she likes to pimp me out for my services. So um, and then we have she hosts parties and stuff here in the kink world, and that, and I'm kind of I float around being a instigator and. So Puck from Midnight's, what is it? Midsummer's Night Dream. Um, someone like 20 something years ago gave me that name, uh, nickname because I'm mischievous and always getting in trouble and stirring things up. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So now uh, she calls herself a Pinterest and I like to please. And we do yes. a little bit of both. A lot of times um, I'm there watching, but uh, as lately there's been less times that I'm there and she's like it splash. And, you know, there are a few times where I was like, mm, I think they probably want time on their own because they, you know, the times I was in the room, it was kind of like, I wonder if they would be, if the guy would be acting a little different. And so there's times I'm like, why don't you guys just play? I don't need, you know, enjoy. Yeah. So, and with that, you know, I, you know, that's that whole cuck angst and wondering what they're doing. And then at times um, when she gets permission, she will um, record them audio and she'll send those to me and, dwell upon those trying to dissect it and figure out exactly what they're doing. <laughs> no one's like, and it's like, huh, I don't think I've heard that noise before. <laughs> <laughs> That's so awesome. Okay. So, oh, wow. You guys have a really fun cuck relationship adding in all the BDSM parts to the kink stuff that you guys are into. Right. Um, so let's go back to this part about pimping you out. <laughs> what, <laughs> what skills I mean, we're going to talk about pussy massage today, but is that is that what she pimps you out for, or is this there a variety of things that she pimps you out for? Um, I think it's the overall um, overall package. I love to please. I when I get going, I don't like to stop. I like to I like to please, and apparently, I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> 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 so I'm really good with my hands and mouth. And throughout our kink land, I have a presence and a reputation. <laughs> I'm good at making women squirt and all kinds of things. So, <laughs> okay, I'm intense. I can be really okay. intense in a pleasing way. <laughs> okay, was it was it kind of like a, a little, little bit strange the first time she kind of like quote unquote pimped you out for your services? Um, so I guess if I guess a step back a little bit. So when I first started dating her, I was always very oral and handsy, but I was very sensual in that. And then when we started dating, she was like, Oh, you can use your hands harder, harder, harder. And then I realized the power that I have with the hands that I can actually use them, use the strength. I've got really strong hands, um, from rock climbing, um, uh, early on in my life. And then that just like opened up this whole world to me. I'm like, Oh my gosh. <laughs> and I'm also, I can be very aggressive. So like one of the first times that, um, she did, she brought someone in and kind of had them blindfolded and kind of on a, like on a collar and then just, let me go at, at them. Then I you know, kind of physically rocked the world. <laughs> <laughs> so it was, I was pretty hot. So I got, so now I have this thing in my head. It's like, now I'm kind of like this you know, caged animal that, you know, she'll take off a leash. And <laughs> <let> me. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay. So, um, we, I don't even remember how it came up when we were at splash mocha together. We were, I think, standing around and how did it come up in the conversation? We were talking about pussy massage or you called it Yoni massage. And I was like, what the fuck is Yoni massage? <laughs> do you remember? There was another guy that was bragging and then I was like, I can do that. <laughs> oh, right. Right. I'm, I'm pretty good at that. And she's, uh, and she will, you know, if, if like last year she pimped me out in Houston. So I think that's kind of how it came together uh, okay 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 because i was i couldn't remember exactly but i was like "Ooh, <laughs> i might have to have you talk about this on the show because i i haven't really had before that i hadn't really had like an actual pussy massage before i've had a sensual massage that included it um and that was like the closest that i had and it was fucking amazing like i was mind blown taken to a different place in the universe like it was something it was so fucking memorable and i haven't had very many of these sensual massages 
Um, but the ones that I did, I was just like, wow, this needs to be a thing. This really does need to be a thing. So when you told me you were really good at it, I was like, okay, this is it. Like, we're going to teach the masses here. Pussy worship 101. This is going to be part of it. Okay. This is the pussy massage. And then who, somebody was like, yeah, it's called Yoni massage. I'm like, nah, that sounds wimpy. Let's just call it pussy massage. <laughs> so the reality with that, so Yoni massage, um, is more of, you know, in what I've read is more of massaging a, a woman who's had, uh, I guess, trauma or stress or something with inside to help them kind of get back to a certain place. So that's not really what, what I do. Right. I, it is kind of a pussy massage and it's also a pendendal massage, which said so there's a pedendal nerve that's down there. That's just, that's got thousands of um, nerve endings in that. And so really I'm lighting all those up and getting just their body just starts to heat up and, and, and all those nerve endings come alive. And then at that point, if you can do that, then it just accentuates everything else you may want to do after that. Can you believe it's been four years since I first started this podcast? And looking back, I had no idea that this would be my full-time job. I love the work that I do. And it's because of you, the listeners, and your support that I'm able to do this. So right now, if you join the Helpful Cuck tier, you get tons of benefits. My favorite ones are the private one-to-one -one chat every month. You also get access to my private Snapchat group. Weekly live hangouts with me on Crowdcast. I love those. And you get juicy bonus episodes. There's key holding. There's video replays of the Pillow Talk events. And there's also access to my private community on the Moan app. So join right now. You can use the promo code CUCKLOVE2024 for 15% off your Helpful Cuck membership at venuscuckledges.com. Absolutely. When I had my sensual massage, this was years ago now. Um, it was like the full body relaxing deep massage. I mean, so relaxing, just everything just, you know, so I'm melting there. I'm kind of like half conscious, right? Mm -hmm. And, and then there's this, this magical moment when it turns into a, a pussy massage. And it, it is like feeling things wake up. I'm like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. But to go from like one end of like deep, deep, deep relaxation slowly into this world of like, it feels a bit thrilling. Oh, wow. That's that's a mental ride, physical mental ride for me. That is just crazy. I love it. So, OK, let's talk about this. What exactly is it? Like, what do you do? If if a guy's like, okay, what what is, like, I don't know what that is. Do I just, like, massage her clit? Or, like, what is that? So so what exactly is it? Spell it out. All right. So there's really, you know, I always feel strange about talking about it because there's nothing really special that I do. It Shh, just Don't say that. <laughs> I know. But it's it's really weird that, you know, I've tried to teach people some guys before and they just can't get it. So in a nutshell, basically what it is, it's intention. So I come at it as a intention to please. And that is, it comes with patience. It's not about me. It's about her and it is relaxing them because it's really hard for some people to lay back and let go and just relax and just let things happen or some people can't get out of their minds. And so that's a, that's a big part is trying to relax people and let them just, it's all, know that it's all about them. Just lay there. And like what I said to you, just you know, be vocal with me. Let me know if it's something you don't like or you want more of, or it's too much pressure. There's no, if there's no, just roll with it, enjoy it. And so then from there, you know, the position that I put you in, I like to sit with my back against a headboard and then have the person sit on their back close to me with their legs over my legs. 
Mm -hmm. And it's a very vulnerable position for the woman. Very (laughs) vulnerable. You're literally like, I'm just going to like spread my legs for you right in front of you. Like right here, right now. (laughs) I know. It's amazing. I'm always wondering, it's like, what's going through their minds right now? Because it's a whole lot of trust, I guess, that they have to put in with me. Um, And I try to help put people at ease and all that. And I hope that you know, I feel that way. Hopefully I put off good energy and no one's kind of worried too much about it. But uh, so then, you know, it's getting in that position and I'm letting them lay back and making sure they're comfortable. You, know, you got to check the rooms. Thing. So a lot of times, so, so ideally, you know, if, you know, you have the environment that you can like, when I say intention, like if reaching to like Tantra and that, where you set the mood, where you like light a candle and have the mood lighting. And so that's always, you know, the more of that you're able to do, you know, it's for her, it's the relaxation, it's a ceremony, so to speak. And, but you can't always do that. Like when you're traveling in a hotel and having fun, it's like, Hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so then, um, uh, it's the intention beyond setting that it's my intention of pleasing. And then I usually just start with kind of light touches, you know, over the body. And if I had longer arms, I could probably reach further on up, you know, the torso and that, but so then it's just light, light touches. And then um, I start, you know, with a little bit more uh, pressure and then I break out my secret weapon, which is the uh, coconut oil. (laughs) (laughs) which is amazing. And uh, so just for people out there, I buy a a jar of solid coconut oil. You know, Trader Joe's has a really good brand or Dr. Bronner's actually. I I think it's Dr. Bronner's also has one. Um, And then I usually will scoop some out and put it into a separate container. I always keep one next to the bed at home. Um, It's like a, um, Tupperware that can take the lid off because you don't want to keep grabbing it out of the uh, the main jar because it could get contaminated, you know, for, if there's multiple people. Or, right. You know. So, and then I'd usually put it, in, and then so I I use a lot of it, as you, <laughs> as you know. Um, and then I just constantly dip it in and warming it up, melting it with my hand, and then, you know, just start um, using more pressure and the pedendal nerve is like basically right. All the nerves that are around the pussy and actually you know, the uh, pussy and, and the clit, the lips and all that has its own, um, set of nerves and all that. And I don't pretend to know much about this because going back to how I got into this, I kind of saw a video about the massage one time and I was like, let me try something on you. And, um, uh, with Nikki and, and she was like, whoa, what are you doing? This is amazing. Holy crap. And she's the one that told me about the um, pedendal massage and all those nerves and all that. So so basically, that's all I've ever learned was just to saw this one video. And then I figured it out on myself. Um, so then from there, I just, you know you know, start using my thumbs a lot and run it up the thighs and then just start moving the blood towards the, uh, the genital area from the thighs and really work in the thighs because I'm, I'm sure that most people think, Oh, it goes right for the pussy or anything. No, I don't touch. I try not to touch the pussy lips, the clit or anything. I wait as long as I possibly can, even though I may be a greedy bastard and be like, Oh, I want to, <laughs> I want to touch. <laughs> really taste, but no, that's not what it's about. But, uh, so then I start working and there's that crease that's in between. Um, so like up top, it's hard to tell. All right. So like, if you take, so if you're like looking at someone, you run your hands up the, up their thighs until you get to the, um, the genital area, there's the creases that go along the both legs all the way down to the butt cheeks and then all the way up the top towards the tummy. And I really spend a whole lot of time working that area and slowly get strong, you know, put more pressure and stronger. And I gauge the person and make sure that I'm not you know, putting too much pressure. And I found that I can put a lot of pressure in those areas and people love it. Um, it's rare that 
you know, anybody's like, oh, that's too much. Usually I'm like, oh God, I could probably go a lot harder, but my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I start working in that area and, and just keep working it. And then I'll slowly with my thumbs kind of work closer um, to the lips, um, not really touching them. But then, um, so that area, if you just, and, and all it is, is just the desire to please and patience and just touching that alone goes so far. You know, if you're giving someone, you know, touch and feel, and it's not, it's, um, it's about giving and it's not a selfish thing that I'm doing. It's, it's about them. That, that goes a long way. And then I just kind of start working that area and I push in you know, further down and my fingers kind of, I don't know if you remembered, can kind of go to inside a little bit, but um, so, you know, so I start just working that area a whole lot and then I'll start uh, playing with the outside of the lips and, and that, and then work up and then I kind of go back up, rub the tummy and, so that's kind of the, the basic principle to get things going. And then that's I'm lighting up all those nerve endings and they're getting all tingly. And, and, um, one time just with doing that, when I started to go, uh, uh, with my fingers, um, just barely kind of pushing in on the lower part of the, um, the pussy is <laughs> probably better <laughs> terms for it. But, uh, I had a woman just all of a sudden, just squirt me right in the eyes. Like, ah! <laughs> I was like, Whoa, <laughs> that was a first. <laughs> yes. Bring your mask and snorkel. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, not everyone's, you know, she's the only one that's done that, but so there is, so then I just start playing with that and then really massaging and slowly the, the lips and I tr still don't go inside or really try to, it's not about, getting you off or you know, getting the woman off. It's just about massaging it and just really just building that fire and that. And, and then I'll, you know, trace the lips and maybe, you know, do a little bit of teasing, I guess. And, and then one thing that I stumbled upon, I just started doing one time and it seems like everybody loves it was when then I take the, the butt, the bottom of my palm and I take one and go you know, as far down as I can, you know, maybe like around the taint area and then push hard. And then I slide it up and over and just kind of let my hand curve with the body and go over the clit and just go past it onto the tummy. And then I put the other one right behind it. And I just keep doing that repetitively. And it seems that, what did you think of that? <laughs> I was just going to say, I was just going to say, so if everyone listening hasn't figured it out yet, I did get the pussy massage from Puck <laughs> while I was at Splash Mocha. And oh, uh, yeah. It, OK, so first of all, he he showed up with yeah the big jar of coconut oil, which I was super impressed because I was making fun of Doc Chocolate for the fact that he didn't have any. <laughs> I thought for sure he was going to have it, but I was so happy you brought it because I fucking love coconut oil. And yeah, I was slathered in it. But that move that you're talking about right now, I had forgotten about until you just said it. It is the signature move. I don't think I said anything about it at the time, but I loved it. I don't know what it is about that, but it's 100% amazing. <laughs> so for all of you guys listening, I hope you're taking notes, back it up, rewind and listen to it a few times over again. So you understand what he's trying to say with that move, because it is fucking amazing. Anyway, continue. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and so that one I stumbled upon on my own, I was like, Oh, wow, I get a lot of Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a crowd pleaser. <laughs> yeah, and absolutely. So I do that some, you know, some, and, and, it, and all of this is about judging as a guy it's, it, or, you know, whoever this woman can be doing this. Um, you can even do this to guys too, except for that, you know, it's all about, you know, if you were to do the whole pressure and the thigh, you know, in the creases and all that and under the balls and taint and all that, that would rock their world. Um, but 
going back to that. So it's about understanding and reading your the partner who you're giving it to and understanding. Cause sometimes I, people just love that so much that I just keep doing it and they'll just keep coming and coming and coming and coming and coming <laughs> yeah. and just scooting across the floor of the bed. <laughs> just got to grab them, bring them back. Uh, um, <laughs> so, but everyone's different. So that's, what's so awesome. I just have to figure you know, out what's, what do they like? What do they respond to? And then after that, I kind of start to get, you know, I would say that they get really warmed up, excited, uh, their, you know, their blood's flowing in, in all the right places. So then I'll start to experiment with the pussy and start to just circle the, um, the opening and just trace that. And then I'll use like a thumb on the clit lightly. And I just kind of play and tease. And you can also do this if you are oral, you know, if you on going down on somebody and you're uh, looking the clit, you can do the same things with, uh, with your fingers. Cause I do both. It, it can be in that position with the finger or orally. And then it just, you know, kind of trace the opening. And then with one thing I usually start to do is start low and just start going in a little bit on the very bottom of uh, the opening the pussy and then kind of, you know, just start going in and out slowly and figuring out uh, and, and lightly. And then I start doing more pressure and f kind of um, all it's like, then I start playing with that and, and it's kind of like the G spot, but it's upside down. So it's down there. And, and some people really love that. And I can tell and, um, and then I work and then I'll move around and then kind of go up and then work on the, you know, the G spot, which I've had good success with <laughs> figuring that one out. <laughs> it's amazing how, to, and it is tough to, um, to teach people that, but there is a yeah. art to it. <laughs> is Yeah, absolutely. You definitely have the skills because I was getting, you know, I was on my back getting my pussy massage and I fucking loved it and everything. And then we switch it up. We switch it up where I went. Um, you were, you were, you put your mouth on my pussy. I went in a different position. You put your mouth on my pussy and I don't, you did some magic with your hands and I don't know what it was. But as soon as you started that, I was like, okay, let the countdown begin. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. It's coming. <laughs> I could tell. It was great. <laughs> Your thighs started getting yes. closer and closer yeah. to my head. And <laughs> yeah. Love All it. the things started mm. happening. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. But then after that, the, what was really nice was that it wasn't just like done. You took your time to give me the whole full body massage after that. And that was honestly amazing. Like I, I loved that a lot. That was really great. That was actually when Doc Chocolate <laughs> came in the room, and um, he's like, "Oh, do you want me to leave?" And I was like, "No, no, no. <laughs> you can go sit in the cuck chair." <laughs> but it was so great because I was just completely like slathered in coconut oil, laying there completely naked on the bed. And just like in bliss, just total fucking bliss. <laughs> it was so right. great. So thank you for that. You're welcome. amazing. So, right. So I don't like to just end if I don't have to, but kind of the nurturing, you know, keep the nurturing going and, and see what, what they're needing at that moment. If they're just like, don't touch me or like, oh, or the, you know, you know, I don't know if you notice, I put my chest I, I kind of put my hands around you, but then I made sure that my chest kind of like my heart was right against your pussy and I kind of held you and kind of. Laid I don't my head remember on your that. And kind of I was in a different place. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> May have been more for me. I don't know, but you know, cause it's kind of nice or sometimes I'll crawl up and put my hands around and just give like a huge laying on top, just give a huge bear hug. And it's amazing. The response that I get when I, when I do that for people, it's kind of like a, just being in a wrapped cocoon and some women just love it. Some people just keep coming 
and while I'm holding him doing that, he'll just oh, wow. be sitting there shaking in my arms. And Oh, wow. I don't remember, but I do remember saying, I do feel like, I, I, I think I was like, I, I feel like having a nap now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're like, oh, I mean, but, you know, we were like, it was like two hours. Was it? We did. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. I, I was, yeah. When I left, I was shaking. I was like, oh, God. And I was, I got down there, down to the, to the lobby and I'm just like sitting there I'm like, oh God, I need food. I need food bad. <laughs> it's like, I spent a lot more energy than I thought I did. Yeah. Okay. So this was a lot of fun because yeah, we went down to the lobby afterwards. I was sitting at a different table and I was telling these ladies that were at my table about what I had just had, because of course I'm going to tell them. And I'm like, this guy, he's amazing. Mr. Magic Hands, you need to meet him. And so you came over to the table. I'm like, uh, ladies, here he is, Mr. Magic Hands. And they were like, oh my God, I need that. But apparently you said something, ladies kept coming up to you that night or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> I was in the elevator. It was late. I was by myself. Uh, I think, Nikki was playing and I got in the elevator and it was a full of, well, we're only allowed to have eight people in the elevator because weight limits, but I had my <laughs> back to the doors and I was looking at everybody. And then all of a sudden someone's like, Oh, it's Mr. Magic hands, the <laughs> pussy massager. And then everyone's like, what? And everyone's like, Oh my God, can you teach me? I want that. And I'm just like, uh, and she's like, Oh, you're blushing. <laughs> There you go. You're famous, Mr. Magic Hands. <laughs> I do think it's really awesome, though, that people want to learn, that they have a curiosity to learn. And I absolutely adore men who are into that kind of, you said it, it's all about giving. You're a giver. And I, I love that about body worship, receiving body worship. It just feels like this is about me and I don't mm -hmm. have to worry or think about reciprocation or what comes next or anything like that. It is just a moment in time, however long for me to get out of my head and just enjoy. And that's it. Exactly. There's something so special about that. So I love, I love, love, love guys who are into body worship. Yes. <laughs> More of that, please. Probably why I adore cucks so much. Cause a lot of them are. <laughs> Um, okay, so before uh, we wrap this up, I just want you, if you don't mind, to come up with a couple of things that you think are the biggest no-nos. Like, do not do this if you are going to be trying to give a pussy massage. A couple of things where you're just like, no, don't even go there. Um, don't go right in for the pussy and the clit. That is for later um you gotta warm all that up and it's just like it's foreplay you know it's like with anything but you know and it's about intention oh obviously sometimes it will you know i will take it to you know playing with the butt you know it's all specific but you know if you do start doing that make sure that uh you don't cross contaminate and just take your time make it about them not about you don't forget the coconut oil. Oh, coconut oil. It's <laughs> just even for just any kind of play, just any kind of a quick massage. It's great to have next to the bed. And then you can just, oh, well, allow me. Yeah. You know, if you want to give your partner, a, you know, just there wanting to go to sleep. Well, you know, if you just go down and just do that, that's like, it's amazing. We do it a couple of times a week and if not more, and she'll do, she'll return the favor. She'll. I've totally got to train my houseboy for this. I really do. <laughs> you see, he's in very early stages of training right now, but <laughs> I have to definitely train him about this. Okay, Puck, I, I want to say thank you, first of all, for sharing your story. It's so interesting. I love your losing your cuck cherry story. <laughs> it was fucking awesome. And for sharing your knowledge about pussy massage this has been absolutely fascinating for me. And I know, I know, or at least I hope a lot of guys are going to be taking notes and trying to figure out how to do this for their partner. Awesome. Well, thanks again for being part of the show. 
All right. Take care. Thanks for joining me today. Make sure you go to venuscuckoldress.com. That's where you can book a private chat with me. You can check out any cuckolding events that might be happening. And you can even ask a question for the show as well as, of course, join the Queen's Quarters fan club and get all the benefits for that. You can also follow me on Instagram, the Venus Cuckoldress podcast. I haven't been banned there. Well, I have, but not recently. (laughs) You can also follow me on Twitter or whatever the fuck you want to call it. My handle is at V. That's it for today. We'll see you next time. If you've been listening to this podcast for a while, then you know I've talked about a really, really amazing sexual activity other than cuckolding, and it's called sensual massage. Now, I've received this a few times, and it is fucking mind-blowing. I'm a huge fan, but there just hasn't been any kind of place for guys to learn how to do it, not that I knew of anyway. Until now, (laughs) I came across this video, this sensual massage video that is on xoafterglow.com, which is a pretty cool site. It is porn that is meant to be real, educational, entertaining, of course, um, but really cool, made by women and lots of different kinds of porn as well. So I found this video on there. And I was like, oh my God, yay. It's really hot. It's this real couple. And he's actually, in the beginning of the video, learns how to do the massage. He's obviously watching some sort of instructions. He talks to his wife about it. And um, she's on the massage table. And he gives her an amazing sensual massage. Now, it's not as long as I would like as far as length of time. But the video is great. And I'm so happy to see it. It's really hot. It's really sexy. And it just mm, presses all the buttons for me. (laughs) So if you want to check it out, you should go to xoafterglow.com. And right now, if you enter the code Venus, you can actually get one week of uh, free access to it, a free trial. So that's xoafterglow.com. Enter the code Venus. And the link for that, if you are not going to be able to remember, is in the show notes for today. Enjoy.